One of the pedagogic theories that's been around now for 40, 50, 30, 40 years is a thing called constructivism. Constructivism, in a sense, is very, very simple. It actually says you never learn anything absolutely from scratch. When you have a new idea, you see how it relates to something you'd already got in your brain, and you sort of construct a bigger framework, and a bigger framework, and a bigger framework. Its origin goes, well, in the 20th century at any rate, its origin goes back to a guy called Vygotsky, who was a Russian psychologist who died in exile somewhere in the middle of Russia, and it was 20 years before his papers were smuggled out. But he spelled out this business that already the psychologists could begin to see that the successful learner is the person who starts off with a pool of ideas that they really understand. They then come to a new idea, and they sort of embed that new idea in the old idea, and it carries on going on and on and on. You get bigger and bigger and bigger. One of the key thoughts that comes out of constructivism is actually a challenge to the, real edu to the education system because a constructivist never sees something totally objectively. Now, this is very interesting because modern science and modern lifestyle say, don't be subjective, always be objective. A constructivist would say there's no such thing as being subjective. So it was no such thing as being uh, objective. Everything is subjective because you take it in, you add it to what you've already got, and anybody listening to this particular part of the tape, they won't hear it in the same way. No two people will hear the last minute's worth as if it was exactly the same thing. They're all listening to it and trying to plant it in their brain in different positions. I was giving a lecture a couple of days ago, and an audience of about seven to eighty kids, and it was one of those mind-blowing occasions where everybody was sitting on the end of their feet, on the end of their seats, and they were fascinated what was going on. If you tried to get each one of those to write down afterwards what they'd heard, they wouldn't have said the same thing. But what was actually happening was that my thoughts were stimulating things that were already beginning to fire in their brain, but hadn't quite reached the right point. So a good teacher is trying to do that. It's trying to teach the child from where they are now by expanding what they already have.